a brief history of Charlottetown from the last Ice Age to the present. The Ice Age ended and we had our first summer visitors. A whole nother crowd started heading for the island. They argued over who owned the island. They couldn't even agree on what to call it. The French called it Ile Saint-Jean, the English called it St. John's Island, and finally settled on Prince Edward Island. The island needed a capital. They decided to call it Charlottetown. At first, Charlottetown was kind of small and pokey. But the streets were nice and straight, and soon it was as pretty a town as you'd see anywhere. Of course, the summers were short then, same as today. About that time, Charlottetown declared itself a city. We had 6,500 citizens, including the bad fellers locked up in the old jail. Folks were doing all kinds of interesting jobs. There were setbacks too, like the Great Fire of 1866. And there was sickness. The cemeteries were full of children and babies. So they built hospitals, one for the Catholics, one for the Protestants. And there was no excuse for skipping church. There were schools, too. And fancy houses for important people. The old colonial building was smack in the middle of town, next to the farmer's market. Oh, it was a grand time. People were getting around more than ever. The shipbuilding industry folded as new technology started taking over. Hello? Hey? What else is there to say? Modern times have arrived. We have high rises, roundabouts, even an escalator. These days, Charlottetown is full of people from all over the world. My lord, we're a cultural capital. And we still get plenty of summer visitors. <laughs>